And so we meet to remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died in war, those whom we knew and whose memories we treasure, those whose name and final resting place is known to God alone, all who have lived and died in the service of others. We pray for those who have lived on with bodies permanently damaged or disabled, and for those whose minds are clouded by the horrors they have endured, and for all who, even now, live in fear of violence. We bring them to you, Lord God, in the faith that conquers every obstacle, in the hope that penetrates every darkness, in the love which softens every parting, and in the name of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, who gave his life for others. They shall grow not old, as we did the left grow old. They shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them.
And so now let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgiving for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love, and bring us all with them to your eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for peace. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, kindle, we pray, in the hearts of all the true love of peace, and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth that in tranquillity your kingdom may go forward to the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love through jesus christ your son our lord amen we pray for our queen and all who gather who govern in her name lord of all on this day especially we rejoice in the blessings of our country and the freedoms which we enjoy we give you thanks and pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, for her family, and for all those who govern in her name. Give them health and strength, wisdom and courage, so that they may carry out their many duties in the best interest of all your people. May all who have power remember that they are your servants, and that your son came to serve rather than to be served. We ask this in his name, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. But for those who continue to serve in our armed forces, Almighty God, stretch forth your mighty arm to strengthen and protect all those who serve in our armed forces. Grant them meeting danger with courage and all occasions with discipline and loyalty they may truly serve the cause of justice and of peace to the honour of your holy name through jesus christ our lord amen and so together we pray the prayer that jesus taught as we say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so from all of us, words and an act of commitment. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and of our fellow men and women, that we may help, encourage and comfort others, and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all people in the cause of peace for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. And so now we ask for God's blessing. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all people, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you, all those you love and pray for, this day and always. Amen. So I'm Casey Daniel Davies, um, I'm 20 years old, um, I've uh, been in the Royal Air Force for six months now, um, doing my trade training with the hospitals. Um, the reason why I come down today is that Remembrance Day is just so, so important, and um, people are always out there that are offering services, um, out in Afghanistan, around the world, all the time, um, putting themselves in danger. Um, and like the great, great prayer that uh, Ros gave earlier, um, supporting all of us.
years back in 2016, I uh, organised the whole school to go outside on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, on the course outside uh, for a Remembrance Day service, which I organised all by myself. Um, got the local uh, card ray in. Um, every student loved it. Um, got a massive video on YouTube. Did really, really well. Um, got all the cadets in the uniform, got the marching up and down. Um, we even made a little so big in my life, I think it's just so important and it's so close to my heart, that's why I want to be here all the time, I want to do everything I can to be close to the community and do the best I can. So it's been a privilege and it's been, do you know, very moving today, it's been a privilege.